Hello art friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Fleshwad and today I have my most anticipated video of the year. I've been waiting all year to make this video for you guys after doing it last year, drawing my OCs in horror movie scenes. Also, I'm going to be whispering because before we get started, I do have a little announcement. I had my baby. He was due on October 4th, but came one day early on October 3rd at 1.33 p.m. He is so perfect and little, and I love him very much. This video is a little late due to me taking a couple of days off for recovery. I'm not sure how many October videos I will be able to make this year, but I will try my best. Thanks to everyone for all of the congratulations and name suggestions. You guys are the best and your support is everything. I will be uploading a name reveal video, um, probably on Halloween, just because it's spooky, maybe the day before, so keep an eye out for that. With that being said, let's get spooky. So last year I drew five OCs. May as Nancy Thompson from A Nightmare on Elm Street, Veronica as Amanda Sawyer from the Saw franchise, Isaac as Anton from Idle Hands, and my ghost girl and Abraham Crimson as Donnie and Gretchen from the movie Donnie Darko. All of those movies hold a special place in my heart. This year I asked you guys for some movie suggestions and funnily enough, a lot of you gave the same answers. Coraline, It, Final Destination, which I did really, really want to do but I couldn't find a good enough scene to draw because I didn't want to go too gory at all. But I still want to thank all of you for these suggestions. A little shout out to Alex is Crazy for suggesting the marshmallow stairs scene from A Nightmare on Elm Street. I love this scene so much. I wasn't able to draw it, but I just love that suggestion so much and I wanted to share that scene with you guys. Now onto the art. First off, we have my ghost girl as Coraline from the movie Coraline. A lot of you suggested Coraline, which is a movie I really, really love, and I think my ghost girl fits in really well in this movie. If you haven't seen it, Coraline is a clay animated movie about a girl named Coraline whose family moves far away into a hotel house Thing, and Coraline winds up finding another world, which is pretty much just like her world except everyone has buttons for eyes, and it's a lot more whimsical. It's really creepy and fun to watch, so if you haven't seen it but love whimsical movies, then I definitely would suggest watching. It is on Netflix, so there's that. I went for a little bit of a different route this year, art-wise. Last year I didn't do any backgrounds, but this year I decided to challenge myself and draw backgrounds. It was a whole new experience for me. I really hate backgrounds, um, and I think it just made me not like the drawings as much. Uh, for this piece, I tried to use only colored lines rather than just black lines like I do on all my other drawings for the background. Um, and then afterwards, I used a blur effect to push the background back. For some weird reason, I feel like my ghost girl looks so old in this drawing. She doesn't look as young as Coraline at all. Um, I did give her Coraline's hairstyle and color, which I wasn't sure if I should have done, but I felt like if I had left her hair purple and long, then it wouldn't be as reminiscent of Coraline. I didn't do this for any of the other drawings, so I sort of wish I wouldn't have done that for this one, but overall I really like the finished art piece. It definitely isn't my favorite though. Um, by the way, at the end I will put a poll so you guys can vote on which drawing was your favorite overall. Here is the finished Ghost Girl as Coraline piece. What's your favorite scary movie? For our second piece, a couple of you suggested the movie Scream. I haven't watched anything past Scream 2. I've seen them, but I've never really paid that much attention, like they were always just on in the background. So I did choose the opening scene from the first Scream, which is pretty iconic anyways. Scream is a scary movie about a serial killer going around and killing students from a school. I'm a huge Drew Barrymore fan, so for this piece I drew my grunge demon girl. 
as Drew Barrymore from Scream. I don't know, I can't remember what her name is in the movie. Even though this is the second art piece in this video, this is the last piece that I drew, which I think is pretty apparent given that it looks like I totally just gave up on the background, which I sort of did. But I think the character part came out so cute, especially the expression on my Grinch demon's face. I, I love it. Unlike the first piece, I did leave my character's hair alone rather than giving her blonde hair like Drew Barrymore. And I also left her bat wings uh, in the drawing to show more of her character. I had a lot of fun with this piece and her expression, like I mentioned before. Here's the finished grunge demon as Drew Barrymore. Hi, Georgie. Our third piece is probably the most known of all the movies. It. Chapter 1, of course. I have seen Chapter 2, but I thought this scene from Chapter 1 was just way too iconic not to draw. I don't think I have to explain it but it is another horror like slasher movie. Um, I don't know if you can call it a slasher, but I mean, I think that it qualifies as a slasher um, about an evil clown who torments a group of kids. I picked my OC Isaac for this drawing. I had thought about using one of my girl OCs just to kind of switch up the character, but I figured it was best to stick to a male since Georgie was a boy. Isaac is definitely not as young as Georgie, but I think he still works really well for this piece. Just a heads up, this piece does have a bit of gore, which I am going to censor on here, but you can see the full piece as well as all the others on my Instagram at FleshwadYT. The reason I chose this scene is because holy heck, I still remember watching this in the movies, like at the movie theater, and like flipping out. I could not believe that there was something that terrifying in the beginning of the movie. Like when Pennywise just opens his mouth all the way and chomps off Georgie's arm, that scarred me. Like I was sitting there with my mouth open for like two minutes afterwards, I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe that. And then like afterwards, Georgie's just crawling away. It was just really hard to watch and also really memorable, um, and so that's why I chose that scene. This one probably went the smoothest since it is also the most simple. I played around with different brush effects, the most in this piece, which was very, very fun. Um, you can see I used the leaf effects for the trees and a rain brush for the rain. It was pretty cool. By the way, if you're interested, I will leave like links down below to, to videos of where I created these OCs, if you're interested on finding out how these OCs were created. And let me know if you want more OCs videos, I can make like one where I explain a little bit more about them, or maybe I've seen those ones where they, they uh, edit in character voices uh, for their OCs, I think those are cool, I could do one of those, just let me know down below if you want more of that stuff. Here is the finished Isaac and Georgie piece. Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, May as Andy from the movie Chucky. This has to be my favorite piece overall. I spent about the same time as the other pieces. Each piece took about two hours, sometimes two and a half, but I definitely put the most love into this piece. Chucky is a horror movie, or also probably a slasher, um, where a serial killer dies and then he's reincarnated into a good guy doll, which is then bought for a little boy named Andy. I love Chucky a bunch. I think he's hilarious and I think the premise of the movie is just great. A killer doll, nothing beats that. For most of these pieces, I did draw freehand and then afterwards I would lay the original scene underneath the drawing and then move things around just so the drawing perspective would line up better and not look as funky, but everything is mostly free drawn. Besides some tracing like in my Grunge Demon Girl, which is just mostly for time reasons. This is my second of the four drawings, which is probably why it looks a little better than the last two. I also think the iconic Chucky colors really bring this scene to life. 
pun intended. My good guy Chucky does look a little weird, I will admit, but this was my first time ever drawing Chucky, believe it or not, and it definitely won't be the last. Here is the finished May as Andy drawing. And here are all four drawings together. Please don't forget to vote in the poll which drawing was your favorite. And as promised, I asked uh, some of you art friends to send in your drawings of your OCs in horror movie scenes and that I would show off your amazing art at the end of my video. So here's that art. Enjoy. And that will be all for this video. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Sorry this video did come out so late. Like I said, I don't know how many more October videos I can make. I do plan on at least doing the Drawing Your OCs Halloween edition. Um, and then the name announcement, our name reveal for my baby. But other than that, I'm not sure how much, how much I'll be able to push out. Um, but I do want to say that I am attempting a little bit of Inktober. I kind of missed, you know, a, a good chunk there because I had my baby. Um, but I am uploading the speed paints on Amino. So if you have Amino, you can follow me on there at FleshwadYT. If you don't have Amino, I'll leave the link in the comment section so you can download Amino using my link. Um, which just helps me out. But yeah, if you do have it, go check out my speed paints and then I'm also posting those on Instagram, the, but not the speed paint part, just the finished um, drawing. So you can see that there as well. Also, sorry for the ASMR. I just really don't want to wake up my baby. He's asleep. Um, so yeah, there might be more ASMR videos in the future if you don't like them. Sorry, it's just I don't want to wake up my baby, you know? Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until the next video, bye!